in this corner is kind of what we call the wet corner. So you've got the, the dishwasher will be next to that cupboard. And then obviously the sink will be on there. And then you've got the washing machine. And then there you're going to have the fridge. Now because that's all the wet things, what we've actually done, Derek done, the old architrave in off the door that came out where we've now got the walkway through here. He took the old architrave in and he's put it all the way along under there. And then he's gone along with a clear sealant. I don't know if you can see that. And put that all around because this is the wet corner. We thought if anything leaks, um, it hopefully will stop it from going under the flooring because obviously we don't want to have ruined floor. So we thought by doing that, it gives us a chance to just get under there and mop anything up if we do have a leak. So it's quite a good tip actually and well worth noting doing that. Just as I say, that's just old architrave in and then go around with a clear sealant. And then if you do have a leak, hopefully it just gives you a bit of time to get there and to mop all that up. I mean, hopefully we won't have a leak, but because the new fridge freezer we've got as well will be piped in because it's got a nice, a nice thing in it. Because the washing machine is in between these two cupboards, what Derek has done is um, braced them um, and attached these to the walls so that they're just more stable. I mean, obviously, because this one here will have the sink sitting on it, so it makes it stronger. And also, with the this one actually snapped, so he replaced Well, I snapped it, and so he replaced it. But he's also put one at the back just to brace it again. And he will be put in a brace on there, so this is attached to the wall. And that one there has got a little one on. So it just strengthens it um, to hold the sink and just, because obviously the washing machine is there and this cupboard isn't attached to anything. So this is gonna be, he's put one on there. This will be braced to the wall. So I know we've got a heavy oak worktop coming on it, but it just gives it that extra strength. And also there, Derek's put in these oak struts in between the cupboards um, just to make it look nice. But also, particularly here, the washing machine, it just gives the washing machine a bit of a gap around it. So you've got a, an air space. And also here with the dryer, that will just give it some air space so that you're not getting a load of condensation. And when that dishwasher is moved up, there'll be an end on it so that, um, let me show you. This panel here will go in between the dishwasher and the cooker, because obviously the cooker gets hot and the dishwasher as well, but we want a space in between. So we're putting that panel in. Because we use the old kitchen cupboards um, and Derek's repainted them, well not repainted them, but he's painted them the duck egg blue colour I wanted. So to dry them, he made this rack so that they weren't just sort of hanging or um, just put anywhere. So he painted them, did the undercoat, put them in there and then did a second coat and then, um, yeah, just did the duck egg blue colour. So it's just an idea so that they're, they're all in there. They're all safe. They're not going to get touched. Um, so it was kind of like a conveyor belt as if he's doing them, he's putting them in there. Um, the All the bottom cupboards have now been done. So we've taken them inside and just put them safely somewhere. And then the, the next lot, the top cupboards have just come out. So those will be done shortly. So I just, yeah, that was a really good idea of his, just a, just a drying rack. So it's just a simple tip thing, but um, very, very handy.
Um, another tip would be for you, what we've actually done is to put the cooker onto these wooden struts. It's actually got eight feet. Um, but if you need to ever pull it out, it's actually much easier if it's on wooden struts because these feet tend to stick to the floor. So it's much easier, as I say, if it's on struts. And also it raises the height of the cooker a bit because we're, we're taught, my partner's six foot two and I'm almost five eight. Um, and it just, I prefer to have the cooker a little bit higher. And it also brings it in line with the worktop, which we both like. Well, that one's not on yet, but will be. But we've actually done the same with the washing machine. Um, again, we've just put them on wooden, the feet on wooden struts because, well, as you can see on that one, what my partner did was actually drill out the um, hole so that the, the foot actually sits in the hole. And then, yeah, it's much easier to pull out if you need to. Um, but of course, you can also just clean under there with the hoover, just put the thin tool under there and just hoover, hoover out, which some people might not bother with, but I guess because I've been in the cleaning business for 37 years and um, I do like to do these things. So yeah, so that's another tip for you. When I packed up our stuff out of the kitchen, I did use some boxes but actually I did use a load of shopping bags as well because it's easier to just carry it in into the lounge. Um, obviously boxes are heavy, they're still heavy, but it was just easier to um, just bag it up and bring it in. So there's another little tip there. And I did try to bag it up as well um, with stuff, items that I knew I was going to use. So. For instance, the bag under there is is bakery stuff, so there's no way that I needed that, so that's on the bottom. This one had a couple of small pans in which I knew I would use, so I've left them on the top. And then th there was that one there had um, frying pans in, which I've used. So to just leave stuff on top. I mean, obviously, if you're having your whole kitchen ripped out and someone else is doing it, then that's not possible to do. But because we've done the reno ourselves, um, as you saw, we left the hobbin, so um, I was still able to do a little bit of cooking. Um, you can see through the door there that the microwave is on the table. So we were having um, some ping dinners as well. <laughs> and there, because we um, have very often have um, cereal for pudding, I've just left that out so that we could get to that easily. And also the cat food. I set them up in here so they've got all their bits there. That wasn't quite so difficult. We did have four cats, but sadly we had to have two of them put to sleep at the end of last year. So with just the two left, it was a bit easier with those. And um, yeah, because I have fruit every night, so I left the fruit bowl out there. So just try and make things a bit easier for yourself by being a little bit organised. I know it is, it is tricky. There we've got the tea and coffee in there. And um, there's, I mean, that's just tins of fruit. We haven't used any of that, but it's there, easy, easy to get to if we did need it. And the bag of, um, there's tins, like last night we had a tin of beans, so there's, they were in there. So yeah, just try to be a little bit organised. If you are going to do the reno yourself, it does make life a bit easier, so. I set myself up in the bathroom to do the washing up. I've just put the rack in there and the bowl, dirty dishes go there. I bring them all upstairs in the basket. I've got some pans and pots there. Um, we don't actually use this bath anyway, or very rarely. So um, this is actually in my son's bathroom. But it says there is a sink outside, which my partner uses for his uh, painting and decorating pots, but I didn't really want to take it out there. So it's really easier just to bring it up um, and I've just found it works really well. I'll just wash it up, leave it on the rack to dry and then just take it down again. So that's worked out really well.